Hello everyone, this is Mayank Sangvi from vlaman.com and I'm back with another Electrom JS tutorial video. And in this video, we will learn how to connect with MS SQL Server database using Electron JS. For this video, we are going to refer to this blog post. The blog post URL is available in the description of this video or you can click on this notification icon. For our demo application, we need to first download this first project. We created this first project after the installation of Electron JS. So let me click on this download. I'm going to save this file. So let me click on save and let me quickly open this. So it is available uh, just here. It's available in D document tutorials, Electron JS and blog. And let me right click this zip file and I'm going to select open with Windows Explorer. Okay. And I'm going to select this option extract all and I want to extract in this so I'm fine with this so let me click on extract button and this is first project file so let me select all this index.html everything so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it just here okay I don't want duplicate projects or uh, duplicate folder so that's why I'm going to perform this step okay now next thing we need to open this uh, project folder I'm using visual studio code as a code editor if you are comfortable with any other tool feel free to use so i'm going to open visual studio board next i'm going to open this folder hit enter and i'm going to select this folder so this is our uh, first project and in this first project this is a very simple project where we are displaying a hello vlamon message so let me quickly show the output for this i want to launch integrated terminal for this i'm going to click on view and then i'm going to select integrated terminal let me close this and i want to launch this so i'm going to simply type npm test start i hope i'm using the test so let me confirm package.json yes we are using test so npm test start is the right command okay so in this project i already have the code files i don't have electron js so this is one issue so let me quickly fix it we need to simply type npm install electron js to install the electron okay so i'm going to use this command npm install hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev electron first so let me execute it first and it is going to take some time to install electron finally electron js is installed successfully so let me quickly again test uh, my project if everything is fine or not so yes our test project is working fine next thing we need to install the driver for sql server for this i'm going to open my blog post and i'm going to copy this command npm install ms sql this command is going to install sql server driver so let me quickly copy this and I'm going to open terminal and I'm going to simply paste this command and I'm going to hit enter. MS SQL driver is installed successfully. Next, we are going to create a JavaScript file to connect our server. So let me create a new file. We are going to name it server uh, SQL server.js. So let me click on new file and I'm going to type SQL server.js hit enter. For this file, I'm going to copy code from my blog post. So let me open my blog post and I'm going to click on this floppy disk icon to copy the entire code. And finally, we are going to paste it just here. Now it's time to understand the code, what is available inside this. So in this JavaScript file, we have a JavaScript function connect to database. We are going to call this JavaScript function from our index.html. Inside this function, we have a we are using ms sql and then we have a variable for configuration so inside configuration the first is the user user is sa then we have password my sql server database server password for user sa then our server my server is available on localhost so that's why i'm using localhost then the next is database which on which database I want to connect. In the options, we are using instance name and 
in whether the connection is encrypted or not so this is under option so remember our instance name is under options the next is connect to your database after the configuration and after the ms sql we are connecting to sql server so the next line is sql connect in sql connect we are providing two argument the first one is the configuration variable and another one is the function in the function we are providing all the steps which we need to perform after the sql connect operation in this function we are first checking for the error if anything is wrong display the error message next we are creating a new request object with this request object we are able to execute the database query inside the request we are executing the select statement so this select statement in this select statement we are just listing all the available tables inside our world importers database again for request.query we are providing two argument the first one is the sql query and the second one is again a function inside function we have two argument the first one is the error and the second argument is for the record set if something is wrong we are if we have error then we are displaying the error inside console log uh, we are not actually in the displaying error we are just displaying a message something went wrong if no error then we are displaying all the available tables on our html page so document dot get element id so we are providing we are getting this id from this now for index dot html body we are going to copy code from my blog post so let me open my index dot uh, my blog post and this is the code for index dot html so let me quickly copy this entire code and i'm going to open my first project and i'm going to replace the content for index.html inside the index.html we just added this paragraph and inside this private inside this paragraph we have a division element with id div result finally after the body we are including the sql server.js script next on windows load event we are calling connect to database function with my div result id so on page load this function is going to call and inside this function we are performing the sql server connection and we are, we are executing select star from information underscore schema dot table and we are displaying the result let's start this demo application for this i'm going to simply type npm and then i'm going to type test and then start so my app is started successfully and finally our page is loaded successfully and after a few milliseconds our data from the database now on my blog post i shared few error messages if you are facing some issue you can refer this error messages common connection errors and their resolution so so for example this error number one in this error number one this is the connection error and what is the cause for this SQL Server browser services stopped or not running. So what is the resolution for this? You need to start the SQL Server browser services. Let me demonstrate this error message. For this, I'm going to simply open, uh, for this, I'm going to simply open SQL Server configuration and SQL Server configuration path is available at the bottom of this blog post. Based on your SQL Server version, you need to open the appropriate file so i'm using sql server 2017 so that's why i'm going to copy this path and i'm going to open this path so let me open windows run and i'm going to simply paste this path and then i'm going to click on ok if user account control asks for your permission click on yes finally for sql server services i'm going to select sql server browser and i'm going to right click on this and then i'm going to select stop close okay sql server browser services is stopped successfully now let's try to test our app one more time this time i'm going to refresh my electron js app for this i'm going to press ctrl r our page is loaded successfully and now our javascript function is trying to connect on our sql server database now this time our sql server browser services is not running that's why 
it is going to be failed. So let me arrange my windows and most really error message is going to display inside the console log. So let me quickly open Delver tools for this. I'm going to press control shift I and this is the console under inside the console. We have an error message connection error failed to connect to local host high backslash dev 70 inside line number 18. So let me open uh, Visual Studio Code Editor and this is line number 18. This is how to connect SQL Server using Electron.js and let me quickly open my blog post. So here I am sharing around uh, 5 error messages, error 1, error 2, error 3, error 4 and error 5. So here on my blog post I shared 5 error messages. Apart from this if you are facing any other issue, any other error message, please share your error message with me. I am going to add the error message on my blog post for other user with the proper resolution. I hope you enjoyed this video. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to click on like, subscribe, share it with everyone, provide your feedback and see you all in next Electron.js tutorial video. Some important URLs.